That's like when people have a certain kind of stool that's that color. It's called black tarry stool. This one kind of looks like white tarry stool. I'm sorry, I'm gross, but I'm a doctor. Hi guys, it's me, Dr. Sandra Lee, AKA Dr. Pimple Popper, and today I'm playing Expensive Taste with Cosmo. Ouch. Today I'm playing Expensive Taste Test with Cosmo. Um, I think that I could be good at this. I'm very analytical about things. There's, I'm gonna have to examine things, touch things, maybe smell things, things like that. I have expensive taste. My husband would tell you, will tell you that for sure. So we'll see, I guess. I don't know. I wanna get them all right though. I'm very competitive, so I definitely wanna get them all right. I should be an expert at sunscreens. I do know types of sunscreens and what are in them, so I can probably perhaps determine whether it's a physical blocker or a chemical blocker. But I'm gonna put it on my hand. This one on my left has more, uh, it's harder to rub in. It's got a white discoloration, which makes me think it's a physical blocker, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's more or less expensive. Um, they look identical. Is this gonna be like all of these? Because this is gonna be really hard. It's gonna take me a while. Okay. Well, this smells like a true sunscreen, the one on my left. And this one smells like uh, it's fragrance. So it's a hoity-toity sunscreen. So I'm gonna say this one is more expensive. Now my question is, how much more expensive do you think that one is? I think it's pretty expensive. This one has a lot more bells and whistles in it. It makes it smell good and maybe feel good on your skin. I don't know how much I would say more, like 30, 40 dollars more? For just a bottle of it, it's almost, it's 295 Oh, okay, well I'll keep this one then. <laughs> I thought I was gonna try pizza or something. I bet you I could even tell if there's a more expensive pizza. That would be fun. Okay, these look like mud masks, probably charcoal mud masks, which were like a big deal a while ago. Uh, it doesn't look that attractive. It looks like what we call <laughs> black tarry stool. I'm sorry, I'm gross, but I'm a doctor. That's like when people have a certain kind of stool that's that color. It's called black tarry stool. Um, this one looks more gloppy and just like poop to me. This one is smoother. Obviously even in the jar. A little bit thicker, almost glue-like to put on. Ooh, that one has a definite fragrance to it. And this one has a more medical, medicinal um, smell to it. I'm gonna say this one's the more expensive one. Now I'm gonna need some Kleenex. <laughs> yes, two! Do I get some kind of award? Most things that are fragranced tend to be more expensive, not because fragrance makes it more expensive per se, but more that people want that sort of luxury item and they want that, they want all their senses, you know, kind of activated with this. And I will say there's, there's issues with fragrances as dermatologists because it can cause pho photosensitivity, it can be, you know, activated by the sun and then you can get a breakout or a rash there. There's something called burloque dermatitis where you get rashes from like perfume that you might put on your skin and fragrances actually dry out your skin more. Hey, I got two cleansers here. You guys are really good at making things look really similar. I don't really see much in here. Okay, so they're both really clear cleansers. This one is mm, moderately gloppy. And then this one here is oh, even more like um, kind of stringy and, and uh, gloppy per se. This one smells like nothing. And this one has a strong fragrance to it. Hold on, this one's gonna take me a moment here. Let me just, let me just feel this on my hand. 
or this one has a stronger fragrance and it's ooh, this one's lighter this one feels nicer on the skin yeah see you had me doubting the last time when you thought maybe fragrance doesn't make it anything more expensive but I think I'm going to stick with that and this one with the fragrance it goes on a little bit more smoothly it feels more luxurious I think this is the more expensive one yes okay Moisturizer, oh perfect, what I actually need. <laughs> okay, two moisturizers here. One looks smoother in texture. This one's kind of a little fragmented. This one kind of looks like white tarry stool. This is more like a cream, I would say. It also looks a little bit glisteny. This one is a really emollient kind of moisturizer. And this one, is smoother with no smell. It's interesting how they have one has no smell and one has smell. This one here is definitely um, more occlusive, we say. So this one's going to be more moisturizing in one, on one hand, but has a very strong fragrance. These are moisturizers meant for sort of different reasons. This one's probably more of an everyday moisturizer that you could put all over. And this one is very thick. You're probably going to use that more in areas that are really dry like more like a hand moisturizer, but I'm going to go with that one, the, the thicker one, that this is more expensive. Ah! Yes! I got zip patches here, and they're both in the same canister here. So these are really great because they are either like a hydrocolloid or they are just a regular Band-Aid with sometimes little um, spikes in them, like baby little spikes. I think usually they're impregnated with salicylic acid. I'm going to say the one with the spikes is more expensive. Ah! Okay, five. Do I have the best record so far? I don't want to mess things up. Don't, I didn't say that. I'm jinxing it. Okay. What's great about a spot cream and a pimple patch is they're going to probably keep your hands off the area. Sometimes a pimple patch may be better at that because even if you put a little zit cream somewhere, you could probably pick it off and then there you are picking at your pimple. That's the main problem people have and why we have those things is because if you have a pimple, you want to pick at it. But just remember either way, don't answer the door without checking yourself in the mirror because you could be very embarrassed. Oh, this looks like it's gold. So I have this eye mask that looks gold and luxurious. Feels nice. Okay, and then we have this one that looks like it came out of my ninja machine, my smoothie maker. This is like a, I don't know what it's called, like a hydrogel or something like that. I think that you are trying to fool me here, and I think this gold one, you thought I would think this is real gold, but this is fool's gold, I think. This one here is really, I could see this one actually more expensive to manufacture and more expensive to make. It's flecked with, I don't know, looks like oregano to me, but I'm, I'm sure it's not oregano. So I'm gonna say this one's more expensive. See, I'm thinking too hard now. This is not real gold. How, how expensive is this? This is like reflectors. I would wear this if I was going out at night walking my dog or something so that people would see me. I feel this one is more like soothing. It sticks to you. I, I, I like this one more. I'm gonna say this one needs to raise the price. I was fooled. I can already see there's these there's two different types of eyeshadow here. One is powder eyeshadow, which is probably the more common. And then we have more of a cream eyeshadow here. So you're, you're also confusing me because you're not really comparing apples and apples. You're comparing like apples and oranges, in my opinion. Personally, because I am very dry, I tend to like creams more. I guess what people look at is the opacity, right? Like how, how, the, how pigmented it is. 
And this one is very pigmented, I would say. I just put it on a little bit and it really covers me well. So I'm gonna say the powdered one is more expensive. So close, it was the other one. <laughs> okay, stop thinking too much. Just back off and stop. This is what you do in your life, right? You start thinking too much, you get on a roll, you think you're doing well, and then you overthink things. So just... <sighs> Foundation. This foundation is more like liquidy. It's not very thick. This one is a little bit more yellow and they look pretty similar. It smells like paint. Now I'm just and now I'm confused. I'm gonna say this one is more expensive, the white, the one with the white top. Okay, the other one. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I don't ever smell, not, no foundation ever smells. And this one was more opaque, but I just don't like the color on me. And it has sunscreen in it, which doesn't mean anything. I mean, the one that looks better on me is this one, but that doesn't mean that it's like more expensive or less expensive. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm changing my mind. I hope I'm changing it right. I I'm gonna go with the pink one. Here, I'm gonna go with the other one. Oh my gosh. All right, but stop doing that. I gotta stop doing that. Just stick with the program. It's because now when I looked at that, I realized when it set in, it was, I could really see it. Like my hand started to look like I was just wearing concealer over it. But then I thought I was gonna get swayed by the fact that it's not my color. You know who I feel like I am right now? I feel like I'm that guy that says inconceivable in The Princess Bride, like I'm just arguing with myself. But I got it right, so that's all that counts. Inconceivable! One looks more like urine and the other one looks more greenish. But these are serums that we have here. So I'm just gonna move them around and see how viscous they are. This one is... What do they say in wine? It has nice legs. This one's fine looking. This one looks a little bit thicker. Okay. It's a serum. And this side. I mean, how are we supposed to determine this? I mean, is like one of them like $100 more than the other? One costs $10, the other one costs 130 I am going towards the green one being more expensive. I feel like this is a more natural color and this one was tinted subtly maybe to offset the urine color that was in this one. And this one's a little bit less thick and kind of goes in more smoothly and, and tends to feel like it's absorbing better. I'm going with the green one. Oh, I sure, I wasn't supposed to curse. Darn it. I don't want pretty good. <laughs> okay, all right, well, okay, yes. If you do this again next season, I'm signing up again. And, you know, add pizza to it for me. Actually, you know what? I want to be like a, my, my like real dream in life is to be a professional chip taster. So I bet you I could determine between chips, which is the more expensive potato chip. I had so much fun and just remember that I got all of them right, okay? <laughs> Don't forget to check out Dr. Pimple Popper on Discovery Plus. Happy popping, happy popping.